Hey YouTube, what's up? This is your boy Diaphone, and today we're gonna be doing an overview of Eno. Eno is a very rushdown character who has pretty good tools in neutral in order to get in. In general, your neutral is gonna be looking like a lot of note. If you throw it out, if you hit hold up, it goes up. If you hold down, it goes down. Generally, you wanna do note um, either on the ground or pretty low to the ground. Something like that's pretty good because it covers uh, more of an area. If you do it too high up, the problem is she has more recovery because as she's falling, she's still in recovery. So the, if the opponent just runs forward, you gotta get hit. So generally you don't want to do it too high, but unless you're trying to catch like a Faust or something that can't really run forward very well. There are some characters that can kind of beat the note out. So you need to make sure that's not your standard game plan. Um, you can do stuff like even just stroke the tree in neutral is really good. Especially H version, S version, it low profiles a lot of stuff. And the H version is plus on block. So if you get that to, if you get them to block, you kind of get to start your turn. You can do something like a 5k, 236x to check them if they're trying to jump out or something. Or you can do 2s, it's a little more consistent because it doesn't, you don't need uh, counter hit the combo. But yeah, in general, you want to throw a lot of notes. Um, you can jump around, you can hover dash. Generally, her jump is really hard to anti because you don't know when she's gonna release the hover dash. So once you get them to kind of condition, sit still, or you get them to block a note, start hover dashing your way in, and then you go for a mix, right? I mean, generally, that's what your neutral looks like. She does have the core circle back kick moved as well. It can kind of catch some stuff. And there's some matchups like Kai where you want to like low profile the fireball with 236 heavy slash or 236 slash. Or there's characters that can reflect the fireball and you just you can go under the fireball or you can like try to dive kick your way in. Speaking of a dive kick, it's a really good neutral tool as well. And the way the dive kick works, it hits mid and you have two options. You can either just land or if you press the attack button right after you hit, she does this little break. Either way, she is minus afterwards, but there's some things you can do such as like a RC in case they're trying to punish you. And then you can get a counter hit and then you get a pretty good mix up afterwards. So take for example, if I go like that, that's a punish. Uh, I'll get counter hit there. If that was a 6P, I probably would have lost. But you can do something like that. Or you can go low. Um, that's pretty good. Or you can go high. So yeah, she has a lot of options. Generally, RCing dive kicks are really good use of your meter. Um, the other really good use of your meter, I'd say do something like... Um, you can do something like that. You get a combo. Let me show you what the optimal RC combo looks like. You want to do something like, um, what I recommend, something like this. And the cool thing about ending in stroke the tree, if they are airborne, that's a hard knockdown. So you get enough time to throw out your note and then you get some uh, more mix up afterwards. Um, so that's kind of what her neutral looks like. Let's talk about her pressure. Obviously, um, you know, her, her instant air dash JK is very hard to react to. And you get a combo from it. Um, you can either do JK into 2K into 2D, or you can do something like. Okay, let me uh, change the settings. You can also get a um, a 2K into 6HS, but you do have to be pretty close. But it does give you slightly more optimal. The other cool thing, again, about ending in. Uh, 6HS is you get that hard knockdown, right? So it is a little better, but it is very spacing specific. And generally, like, if you end up start off with JK, it's not going to work. So you want to do something like JK, end in 2D. And you get something like that, right? Um, so yeah, that's kind of where her pressure is. You have some variations. That's kind of like your go-to. You can do JK in the JD. Uh, not a true combo as you guys see, but you can that's a double overhead and you can cancel that in the dive kick And if you break the dive kick it is safe So pretty good mix-up option. Um, it's better in the corner because you could keep Oki after it Obviously you could just go empty low Or you can like delay it delay your air dash a little bit and then go for the same thing um, But that's generally what your mix-up looks like if they block the initial mix-up you can go for stuff like stand S into uh Heavy stroke the tree. Heavy stroke the tree is plus on block, so you can't get your turn back. You can check them with a 5L or a 2L or a 2S. Or if you think they're gonna mash after your far button, you can do um, the S version of stroke the tree. Or you can try to space out a note and then go for re-jump pressure like that, right? 
The other really cool thing about this version you know she has a command grab and this command grab does crazy amount of damage so you can do something like with a jump normal or like with a jp and if they're crouching it will whiff and you just do command grab and this command grab does crazy amount of damage so it's kind of hard to condition them because up backing so good in this game but it's worth it because yeah that just does crazy amount of damage so definitely <laughs> Definitely try to work that into your game plan. Other than that, the basic combos you need to know, there's not too much, right? JD, 2K into 2D. Into a uh, fireball. And you kind of just kind of keep looping it if you want. This is a very common combo. If you land 236HS, you get a free stand heavy into 236S. And then you can obviously RC that for more damage. All right, I got a lot more RC combos, but yeah, you can obviously RC that as well. But yeah, those are the main combos you'll be using. Yeah, obviously like a like a punish, a really good punish combo. If you ever get the situation, you use six HS, the heavy circle the tree, and then you can get something like that. Yeah, so that's pretty good. One one fifty. Um, you don't get the best Oki after, it, however. Oh yeah, she does have this super as well. Um, it's very good if you if you want like an additional damage cover off of um, her JK. This is probably the way to go. Um, you see, it does do very decent amount of damage, and you get Oki afterwards. Um, this is also super plus on block too, so you can kind of keep your turn afterwards. They kind of go into like a uh, like a guard break stance, even though their guard's not actually broken. The other thing about Eno <laughs> is that this command grab, for some reason, is fully invincible. Um, until after the projectiles come out. So in order to punish it, you just hop over her. And so Eno could do something like this, do the dive kick to the other side, and then punch. But yeah, other than that, like Eno's normals are pretty standard. 5P, 2P, nothing really right home about. Same thing, or 5K is jump cancelable, which is pretty good. I think most characters jump 5Ks are jump cancelable. Um, another pretty good thing to do is um, 5HS and 2HS on counter hit, they combo into heavy circle tree as well. That's a decent punish for like, let's say you punish a DP or anything else that would be in counter hit state. Yeah, I think she's good. She has a lot of tools. Still need a lot of matchups still need flushed out. And you know, some matchups where she can't use note do feel a little bit rough because they can either reflect or they can um, get around. Her anti air doesn't feel that strong either, but you can do something like 6P into 236S. That's pretty consistent, even though you don't get that much. Um, but the problem is her 6P hitbox seems really weak and uh, can either lose or it'll just whiff a lot of the time, unfortunately. But yeah, other than that, like, I think she's pretty good. Um, I'm going to be learning her more. I'm going to be grinding this character out. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to do a full tutorial with a lot more information on the subs and detailed combos and that sort of thing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Consider subscribing. I will be posting more uh, YouTube tutorials for other characters, including Eno, of course. And so if you're interested in that, uh, please you know share your support and let me know what else you guys would like to see Guilty Gear-wise.